Jay Paul Martin, Samuel DeBose, Trayvon Martin, Samuel DeBose, Tarana Burke, the little black boy on the playground being made fun of because of the title sentence that colors his skin. The girl who clenches her teeth as the hydrocodone strains the production of her melanin. The black boy getting the shot looks and the surprise stares as he enters the AP class. The boy that struggles to find his words and he confronts his white peers about how they think it's okay to just throw around the N word, me. You. Most of us in here. We all face some kind of oppression. A reality that forces us to be resilient. A world that marks our wrists with handcuffs and expects us to stay silent as our brothers and sisters are defined by stereotypes and forced to hand their lives over to a bullet. We're judged before people can even look at us, let alone our character. People see one thing. Black. They see us yelling in restaurants and robbing stores and selling drugs instead of graduating college or pursuing other forms of excellence. Do you know that the first home security system was invented by a black woman? That a black man invented the world's first computer processor chip? That the black man invented the first roof mounted refrigerator system? That the world's fastest man is black? As soon as you prove their unjustified assumptions about our lack of intelligence and talent and potential to be incorrect, they tell us that everything is equal. That we need to stop using our black cars as excuses for failure. That we're the media's puppets, that we have a fair chance. Trayvon Martin didn't have a fair chance. My gay cousin that lost most of his scholarships after being accused of sexually assaulting a white girl didn't have a fair chance. Students and people who are labeled as angry for demanding social justice don't have a fair chance. My dad didn't have a fair chance, but he grew up running home every day trying not to get jumped by his white peers at an all-white school being told he didn't matter and that his presence was a privilege. Our brothers and sisters being beaten, murdered, and dehumanized don't have a fair chance. What they forget is that black people are resourceful. <laughs> and from figuring out how to make meals out of pig intestines to learning how to thrive in a world dominated by white supremacy, we gonna make it happen. Go ahead. Go ahead. We remember that Dr. King died for a reason and that we matter. Our melody gives us strength and beauty and unyielding power that no one can ever take away. And slowly but surely, we make it work. So we have people like Robert L. Johnson, Patrice Colors, Shanice Lee, me, you.